hello welcome to my vlog we're um we're it's just me today i'm working today as usual and uh i just got to run a quick errand and uh let's get this day started every single time i swear it every single time i go to any any store or any situation where you have to stand in line to complete a transaction the people in front of me always have issues there's always some kind of complicated riddle they're trying to solve i don't understand it and then i get up there and it's like that's 481 bling 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 and it's done i don't understand why every single time it's a it's an event it's so weird to me and i'm not an impatient person that's not what it is. It doesn't seem like it's taken longer because I'm impatient. It's just, it's literally taken longer. It's weird. They have to have a line for people that just have their stuff together. It's just for people who have their stuff together. And this is the line for people who can't sort it out. chair Tina you're such a sweet baby you're such a sweet girl oh you're a good girl you just want some attention huh you just want some attention you're my good girl good girl you're such a good baby you're such a good baby going for a walk I um Yesterday when I got weighed at the doctor, everything looked good, but I just feel so, I don't know what's going on. I told her I felt like I gained weight and, I, and she goes, no, you're doing well. I just feel so. I'll just drink more water. Maybe that'll make me feel better. It's really hot out, but it's also really pretty out, too. Let's check on my wildlife friends. Hi, Michael. What's up? So pretty. So pretty. Here's the mallards. They like to hide in the shadow. Oh, I missed him diving. He's been diving down in there and sticking his little butt in the air. Michael, are you having fun? Sorry, I know it's dark in here, but I don't mean to be judgmental, but those are the times we live in right now where we have to be suspicious of people, especially when it comes to children. And there is this man at the pool, and he's a white male with a, a he's a dirty blonde hair and a, a beard, and he's, um, there's this little girl at the pool and maybe he's a friend of the family and he's playing like with water guns with the kid but and he's been awfully close to this kid and it's just 
strange, in my opinion. It's weird. And I don't know, I'm suspicious of, of most men in general if I don't know them. And I know that that is unfair and I am very sorry. Um, but especially around here because it's such a high crime area. It wasn't, it wasn't when we first moved here, this was a really nice neighborhood. It was really safe. It was considered one of the safest parts of town. And now in just a few years, it's become one of the most dangerous parts of town. I'm like, we've got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. So we're working on it, but you know. <sighs> Speaking of kids, earlier today, I was, um, uh, I went for a walk and I came, well, I, I was in the office, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, there were these kids just out playing right out there and one fell over and hurt herself. Yeah. Eric. And, um, I was going to go check on her, but, uh, there was this man, uh, there, it was some black children and a white man. And this white man ran up to him, and he just was skeevy looking, okay? And I know we just shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but when men are talking to children that don't don't belong to them, I judge them. It's just right. something I do. <laughs> and um, so I went, oh, maybe I should go out there. And I went out there and made my presence known, like like I was looking for the ducks or something. And, you know, she said hi to me and stuff. And then, hi, Tina. Uh, I went for my walk, and then when I came back, he was in the pool with this little girl and there was nobody else at the pool. Just this skeevy white guy and this poor little black girl that was by herself. Right? Are you still in the room? I'm oh, okay. <laughs> and I kind of wanted to go sit at the pool or something, keep an eye on him. I, di I didn't know what to do, but I kept checking. I kept looking out the window and stuff and, then a little while, someone who I would think is her brother came back, and um, then a bunch of kids came to the pool, and then he got out of the pool and left. But I don't know, it's just weird. Sounds weird. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm like that. I, I just... I don't trust straight men I don't know. And I hardly trust the ones I do know. <laughs> it's better to be distrustful and be wrong than just trust everyone and be wrong. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. So it's pretty late, but... I haven't eaten much today and I'm, I'm hungry, so I'm going to just scramble myself an egg, I think, and, um, you know, chill out for a little while. I don't do any cheese or anything, just a tiny, tiny bit of salt. Eggs are a complete food in my opinion. So when I went to my doctor yesterday, I hadn't lost any weight. So I was the same weight I was, when did I last see her? Two or three months ago. So I haven't lost any weight. and. That makes me irritated, but she was fine with it. She was like, you're fine. You didn't gain. I said, I didn't lose either. And I need to lose 40 more pounds. Okay. Um, because it was, um, well, I want to lose 60 pounds. 
she's not comfortable with that and my weight loss surgeon isn't comfortable with that either so um 40 pounds is where they want me to be um they want me to lose 40 more pounds and um and they're all like no we're so happy with your progress i'm like what are you happy with i've made no progress in several months so i don't know i'm irritated i'm just annoyed but i've only recently started actively going to the gym again so that'll hopefully make a difference so what, what had happened was <laughs> when i started this uh, at home job i stopped walking so much and um, I was getting between 12 and 18,000 steps a day, and now I don't get near that, so I need to pump that back up. But you know, I think with going to the gym again and stuff, and when we get into the cooler weather, I'll just I'll just have to get out there, you know, and walk more whenever I can. They charge for the Arboretum now, um, which was my favorite place to walk. And I went there every single day. I don't mind paying to go every once in a while, but I was going every single day. So now I can't be going there every single day unless I get a membership, which I could always do because I love the Arboretum. Um, but, but they weren't upset about that. I'm upset about it. So... Um, but they did point out that I am on three medications that can cause weight gain and that's why they were happy I didn't gain any weight and that, uh, you know, and the doctor after my blood work, she did prescribe Ozempic, but even with my insurance, it is outrageous. Now there is a discount code on the website, but the pharmacist says that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you and I'm like well I mean I applied for it and it approved the website or whatever approved the thing so you know and he said well that's only if you have type 2 diabetes and I'm like but I do that's what she told me that's why she said she was making the prescription so I don't know when I get to the pharmacy on a uh, I guess I'm going tomorrow. When I get to the pharmacy, then we'll, we'll find out. It's going to be $25 or $500. If it's $500, I can't get it. And I'm going to have to call my doctor and see, you know, you know, um, well, find out why I can't get the $25 one because uh, it's said if I had type 2 diabetes. So it just, I guess, depends on what she communicated to them. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll just, I guess it's just a wait and see kind of thing. Um, but anyway, I'm going to uh, end this vlog and I'm going to get to bed and, you know, I got to brush my teeth and cuddle with my dogs for a few minutes. And I wanted to watch uh, an episode of Girl Meets Farm because there's one episode where she makes something I want to try and make. And um, also, uh, I'm going to be bringing cooking videos back. Um, I probably will be doing cooking videos once a week or so. Um, maybe more often. It just depends. But I just get really annoyed with people like, well, that's not how you make that. And I'm just like, no, that's not how you make it. This is how I make it. You can't tell me how I make something. Anyway, it's just always something that gets on my nerves, you know, and um, I guess that's just part of part of the experience, I guess, part of the YouTube experience. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. I'm going to go. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will talk to everyone later. Bye. Mm -hmm.